Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of polynomials, we shall be studying about value of a polynomial and zeros of a polynomial. So let's start. Now first of all, let us see how to denote a polynomial which is having only one variable say x. So a polynomial in one variable x may be represented by px, qx or rx. Similarly, if the polynomial has one variable say y, it will be represented by py, qy or ry like this. Right. So if we have a polynomial using x variable, we will say px is equal to 5x square minus 4x plus 7. If it is using y, so we can say y square minus 2y plus 5. So this is how polynomials are denoted. Now what is the value of this polynomial say px? It is that value at x is equal to a is pa, which is obtained by replacing x by a. That means we have to replace x by any number say a and we will get pa which is the value of this particular polynomial. For example, if we consider x is equal to 2. So x has to be replaced by the number 2 and the polynomial in which we have to insert it is px is equal to 5x square minus 4x plus 7. Now let us start. So pa that is p2 is equal to 5x square so 5 into 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 7 so 5 into 4 is 20 minus 8 12 plus 7 19 so p2 has come 19 so we can say that the value of the polynomial px at x is equal to 2 is p2 and p2 is what p2 has come 19 which is obtained by replacing x by 2 that means if we replace x by any particular number and the value which we get is the value of that particular polynomial. So thus we can say that Pa represents the value of the polynomial when the variable is substituted by the number a like we have in the previous example the variable x and we substituted it by the number 2 and we got the value of the polynomial as p2 which was equal to 19 right now let us consider one more example suppose that we have a polynomial in terms of x so px is equal to x square minus 2x plus 9 then we have to find the value of px at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 that means two numbers we have to replace x by so let us take the first one that is x is equal to 2 so when x is equal to 2 we will replace x in the given polynomial so 2 square minus 2 into 2 plus 9 and uh, 4 minus 4 will cancel and plus 9 that is 9. So P2 has come 9. Further replace x by 3. So P3 is equal to 3 square minus 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 9. Uh, so 9 plus 9, 18 minus 6, 12. So P3 has come 12 over here, right? So the, at x is equal to 2, the value of the polynomial is 9 and at x is equal to 3 the value of the polynomial is 12. Now after the value of a polynomial comes 0 of a polynomial. What is a 0 of a polynomial? So let us consider a polynomial say px which is equal to 2x plus 1. Now suppose we replace x by 1. Let us see what value we are getting. So 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3. Suppose we replace it by 2, so we will get 2 into 2 plus 1, 5 plus 1, that is 6, right? So these values we are getting, suppose we put it half, so over here 2 and 2 will get cancelled, 1 plus 1, 2 we will get. And suppose we put minus half, then let us see, so 2 and 2 will again cancel, we are left with minus half plus 1, which is 0. Now this 0 we have got, right? So we can say that minus half is the zero of the polynomial px because when we replaced x by this number we got the value as zero that's why this number minus half is the zero of the polynomial px right so in general we can say that a zero of a polynomial px is a number a such that pa is equal to zero that means such number which has come minus half in our example and it has given us zero, right? 
so that is known as the zero of the polynomial so this number a is called the zero of the polynomial that is px right now after knowing what is a zero of a polynomial which is actually a number uh, x is replaced by that number and the value of the polynomial we get is zero right so that is the zero of the polynomial but how to obtain that right how to get that number so this zero of the polynomial can be obtained by just equating the given polynomial to zero like for example if we have a polynomial px is equal to 2x plus 1 so this 2x plus 1 is equal to zero right we equate it to zero and further we will find the value of x let us see 2x is equal to minus 1 and therefore x is equal to minus half now this minus half is the zero of the polynomial let us check also because if we substitute x by minus half we should exactly get zero as the value let us see 2 and 2 cancel minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to zero right so it is that value of uh, that uh, it is that number which replaces x and gives us the value of the polynomial as zero so we can say we can obtain zero of the polynomial just by equating the given polynomial to zero now if we equate it to zero then this becomes an equation right it is a polynomial equation and a with the number is known as the zero of the polynomial px or also we can say it is the root of the polynomial equation right so also we uh, like over here we have said that this is the uh, x is equal to minus half minus half is the zero of the polynomial we can also say that minus half is the root of the polynomial equation that is px is equal to zero right so what is zero of the polynomial zero of the polynomial is that number by which we replace x and get the value of the polynomial as zero how to get the uh, zero of the polynomial just to equate just you have to equate the polynomial to zero right the given polynomial to zero and whatever the value of x you are getting that is your zero of the polynomial and if we consider the polynomial equation so we can also say it is the root of that particular polynomial equation right now let us learn some of the key points related to zero of a polynomial so zero of a polynomial as we have studied it is that number c such that if we replace x by c and we get the value zero so that is known as the zero of a polynomial for example we have a polynomial px and we replace x by c and the value of this polynomial after replacing it by c we are getting zero so we say that c is the zero of the polynomial right now let us study few important points a zero of a polynomial need not be zero it is not necessary to get a zero we should have a zero over here that c should be zero it is not necessary right zero may be a zero of a polynomial it may or may not be but it is not necessary every linear polynomial has one and only one zero right because degree is one yes degree of a linear polynomial is one therefore we have only one zero a polynomial can have more than one zero now polynomial may have degree two may have degree three so if it is a quadratic polynomial it will have two zeros if it is a cubic polynomial it will have three zeros so basically we can say the number of zeros depend upon the degree of the polynomial number of zeros of a polynomial cannot exceed its degree right it has to be equal to the degree of the polynomial the zero of a polynomial is also called the root of the corresponding polynomial equation for example if i take the equation px is equal to 0 so and i replace x by c and such that pc is equal to 0 so this c is also called the root of this polynomial equation right over here it is called the zero of the polynomial but over here we can say it is the root of the polynomial equation right a constant polynomial does not have any zero now constant polynomial comprise of only one term that is a constant let us say 5 right 5 has a variable 5 
has a variable which is raised to power 0 right and therefore 5 into 1 is actually always 5 it cannot be 0 right value of this value, polynomial cannot be 0 because anything raised to power 0 is 1 and multiply anything multiplied to 1 is the number itself so we can say that a constant polynomial does not have any 0 because for having any 0 the value of the polynomial should come 0 right now typical questions which are based on zeros of the polynomial can be to verify if the given values of the variable say x are the zeros of the polynomial or not so to verify if the given values of the variable x are the zeros of the polynomial we substitute the given value of the variable in the polynomial and check if the value of the polynomial is coming 0 or not for example suppose we have to check whether 2 or minus 2 are the zeros of this polynomial x plus 2 so let us assume that px is equal to x plus 2 now put the value x is equal to 2 so 2 plus 2 4 x is equal to minus 2 in that case 2 plus minus 2 that is 2 minus 2 is 0 right so this is not equal to 0 therefore 2 is not a 0 of a polynomial whereas p minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore we can say minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial so to verify whether the given values are uh, zeros of the polynomial or not we just have to substitute the given number in that particular variable and check whether we are getting 0 or not right now second question that can be asked is to find the zero of the polynomial first question was to verify whether the given value of the variable is a zero of the polynomial or not second question is to find that zero of the polynomial so for finding the zero of the polynomial we have to just solve px is equal to zero that means the given polynomial we have to equate it to zero right when we equate it to zero we can further solve it ax is equal to minus b so x is equal to minus b upon a so this is the zero of the polynomial px and as we have studied earlier linear polynomial has one and only one zero because the degree of linear polynomial is one now let us consider an example suppose a polynomial is there 3x minus 2 and we have to find its zero so we can just equate px to 0 so 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 3x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 by 3 so we can say 2 by 3 is the 0 of the given polynomial right we just have to equate the whole polynomial to 0 and find the value of x whatever value of x we get is the 0 of the given polynomial right so this is it children hope you have understood both the concepts of value of a polynomial and zeros of the polynomial in the next video we are going to take up questions related to it thank you everyone have a great day ahead